hair. <laughs> Love this for me. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this look right here. This is actually my go-to look for when I'm going out and I have no idea what to do with my makeup. I always just do this one because it takes me like 15 minutes and I'm out the door. And I love it because it makes you look super glam and put together, but it's so easy. It always comes out good and matches every outfit, so this is my go-to look. My next two videos should be on how I cleared my acne and my skincare routine that you guys have been waiting for. So subscribe so you get notified when those come out. I did try out a few new products today, but the look is exactly the same. So let's get started. So I'm gonna do this look right here as requested, except for a few new products that I really wanna try, but the end result will be the same. I wanted to try out a new primer, the Super Radiant Booster from NARS. I'm actually just gonna mix it in with my foundation, which will be the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. I'm in the shade 2N1 Cashew. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of Santa Fe from NARS. I'm gonna do two pumps of the Laura Mercier and one pump of the NARS. By the way, this has become my new favorite everyday like lip balm. If you guys haven't tried this, the new oil infused lip tint in Orgasm from NARS, it just launched. Oh my God, I've been wearing this like nonstop day and night. It feels incredible on the lips. It's so nice and juicy and like hydrating. My new fave. This might be even a little too light just because I tanned my face last night, but it's okay. We'll blend it all in. And if you guys noticed, I'm not doing the green concealer correcting anymore before foundation because I feel like my scars are finally light enough for me to not need it. And I keep telling you guys that my skincare video is coming and like how I cleared my acne video. Hi, Alea's here. <laughs> she likes to park her butt right next to me while I film. Sit down. But I promise it's coming up next. I'm actually gonna do it in two parts. So the first part, like first video will be how I cleared my acne, like how I actually cleared my acne. And then the second video right after that will be my skincare routine, like the products and stuff, because I feel like it's important to share with you how I actually cleared it as opposed to just treating it, if that makes sense. And I haven't had any cystic breakouts in over a month, if not two months now. So the steps I took to get here actually worked. So I wanna share that with you guys. I just applied this Born This Way multi-use concealer in the shade light beige. It's basically like my foundation color. So I just added a little more coverage there. And then for actual concealer, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This stuff is actually really nice. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much, but it's actually really nice. And full coverage. Honestly, it makes me feel some type of way when I blend out concealer or foundation and there's like no texture, no bumpy acne. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> and I will share with you in the skincare video of what I've been doing and using to, to help lighten and get rid of my acne scars, which have been going away pretty fast in my opinion. I just did a little bit of the same e.l.f. concealer, but this is in the shade Deep chestnut and i like this one for cream bronzing it gives you a really nice like healthy tan i'm setting now with the laura mercier powder i'm gonna quickly fill in my brows prime my eyes and i'll be right back for the eyes i'm gonna use the new Too faced pretty mess look how pretty this is a collaboration with housewife erica jane super cool packaging love the whole like vibe of this this eye look is super easy all you need is just some browns so i'm gonna try out this palette because it does have browns in it i'm gonna take the shade show and tell a very nice light brown and this is what i do i basically just take a brown you can honestly use a bronzer which is what i do and you just pop it in the crease super easy i always do this but i kind of just like drag it out to my temples so it gives you that like pulled out look and then for the lid just take any like cream white color and with a different clean fluffy brush just put this all over the lid not too much just because you don't want it to be like too white but just a little will do and then i hit the inner corner as well this is the color close off now for the liner part, I always use a brush like this, like a flat definer. This is E15 from Sigma, really nice. And I'm gonna take this dark brown shade called Private Jet Setter. So what you do is you basically just start stamping it on as you would an eyeliner, but this is eyeshadow, so it's a lot easier. So once you stamp it on, I kind of like blend it as well. Like as I'm stamping, I'm like 
pushing just to blend it and it gives you like a nice smudged out effect now in the photo i actually used this nars palette called skin deep and i used this brown color right here and then this darker brown black so i'm actually gonna go in with this chocolatey brown it's a super warm chocolate shade and this is what I like to sort of further smudge out this line with just because it gives you like a nice smoldered sexy look. Now it's time to map out the wing. You can use the same brush and I kind of just stamp it like that and then drag it out. This makes it so much easier because of that flat edge. You can just push it and it does the work for you. And then you go in and just connect it and fill it in. And then obviously you want to connect it with the bottom lash line just to make it more complete. Because I feel like it looks really weird when you don't. So that's pretty much the wing. Then I like to go in with a really dark shade, like a black. But this one isn't black, it's almost black. Just super dark. And with this shade, I go super close to the lash line. And I don't really smudge out this color. I kind of just keep it super close to the lash line. Just so that you get that gradient effect from like a black to a brown. If that makes sense. Like an ombre liner type of thing. And I feel like this makes it look a lot more sultry. So I like doing this part. And that's pretty much it. The last step, I just go back in with this chocolate shade and just buff out the lower lash line just a little bit. So you guys know that my lashes are quite long. So with most of my looks, I don't wear false lashes. I just throw on some mascara. This is one from Buxom, my fave. And that's it for the eyes. I'm going to bronze now with the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow palette. I do mainly like bronzing with this palette and then contour with the Hula bronzer from Benefit. Look at this mini Hula. It's kind of annoying because it has such tall borders. But anyways, I take a smaller brush and I do the Hula like right here, very close to the hairline. Just to give it that like chiseled snatch look. For blush, I'm going to use one of my all-time favorites, NARS Orgasm. Super cute new packaging. They just extended their Orgasm collection. That's why everything is rose gold. And the lip oil I showed you is also from that collection. But this blush is everything. It has such pretty like gold reflex in it. So it gives you a glow as well, which I love. I swear, every time I put it on, I'm just like so amazed with how pretty it looks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can you guess what the next step is? Highlighter, but before that I like to spray my face kind of get it wet. I'm gonna use this Farsali rose gold skin mist this Stuff smells so good I don't have a fan so I'm gonna use this giant Naomi poster to dry myself <laughs> For highlighter, I want to try also the new how many F's do I give from Too Faced, a part of that collab with Erica. But how sick is this? Honestly, I feel like this would be me as a highlighter. Freaking dollar sign. The middle is gold and the outside is more bronzy, so I like that. This is called Money Honey. I'm gonna do just the gold. Let's see. Okay. Okay, this is coming off really strong. I'm gonna blend this out. Lately, I've been taking my highlighter all the way to the cheek right here, to the front. That way, when you're looking straight on, do you see how... You can see the highlighter straight on, and I love that. And I also wanted to try this from the collection, Pat the Puss. Huh? <laughs> it's called the Kissable Body Shimmer. Super cute. I'm gonna open this up. So, oh, it's a dollar sign. Shit, it's falling out. It's... Whoa. <coughs> It's very gold, but it smells really, really good, like vanilla. All right, I'm ready. Do I just pat it? Oh, damn, that is very... Some of it just flew into my mouth, and it actually tastes really good. Like, what? <laughs> Am I doing this right? I'm not sure, but it looks pretty, right? Can you tell? I'm just going to blend some of this out, as it's very gold in person. It looks like I just put on a bunch of gold eyeshadow. But I feel like with more of a tan, this would be amazing. 
Ooh, cute. So I'm gonna show you the exact lip combo that I did in this photo. And since that lip balm makes your lips so pink, I'm just gonna put some powder on to mute it out. This is the lip liner I used from Buxom called Hush Hush. And lately when I've been lining my lips, instead of like going, um, following the cupid's bow, I just draw a line, like not straight across, but like kind of just fill in that gap between my cupid's bow and it makes it look more pouty. And then on top, I use the Nearly Nude Lip Gloss from Iconic London, but today I want to make it a little more nude, because when you just put this on, it is nude, but it's like a pinky nude, but I want it more brown nude today, so I'm going to use the Anastasia Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick just a little bit. And then apply the lip gloss. This gloss is so nice. It's like a peachy brown nude. It's so pretty and it's not sticky. This one's really nice and juicy. It feels like a lip balm too. Mmm, cute. All right, so that is basically it for this look. I love how it came out. I had a lot of fun recreating this look and honestly, this is my go-to look when I'm going out and I really don't know what to do with my makeup. I can do this in like 15 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.